Hi, and then we will restart now for the third lesson to where we were. Then uh, just be sure uh, that Apache is running. If it's not running, just click on start. If you don't see where I exam, uh, just go here, begin to type the first letter and click on it. And you will come to this point. And here, just click on start. Okay. Uh, we will see, in fact, we will begin to see what is a variable because in any coding it's a matter of data. You will spend a lot of time uh, trying to store data and after to try to use this data. And there is different way to store the data. There is a database, we will see that later. But uh, there is also variable. A variable, it's only an empty box. Uh, which can take the value you want. Here I, um, I am beginning to do slash slash. Slash slash mean command. Since means that what is after slash slash won't be interpreted uh, by the interpreter and it's like uh, it's, it's common for you. Then we will start with variable. For example, we will start to see a first, first variable uh, we will name variable 1 and we will attribute uh, the value 10. It means uh, that uh, we give uh, 10 to the variable variable 1. In PHP, all variables begin with a sign dollar, uh, like you can see. Okay, I will do exactly the same thing with variable 2 and I will put 30. Uh, you see that each time I have the semicolon at the end of the line and we begin uh, with dollar as variable. I will also comment our hello world and now I will, I will display variable 1. Okay, I will use the echo you need you already know. I will take the browser and I will come back to where we have the script. It's been video lessons. I click on variable 1 and I have variable 1 10 which is normal because variable 1 is equal to, to 10. Now uh, we can do our mathematical operations with variable. For example, we can do a sum which will be variable 1 plus variable 2. Okay? And we will EQ. I do, I do um, slash break line BR which is an HTML code which means jumper line and I will put sum two points dot sum. We will see that the dot is used to add string. Here, in fact, you see that it's only number and in coding we name that integer. Then we are only speaking about flat variable with integer because we only used two integer. Then we are doing a sum variable one plus, it's a classic mathematical sign plus dollar variable two. And we do an EQ, BR, I jump a line, sum two points, uh, and I close, and I close, um, and I close the echo. I start the echo by a double cut, and I close it by, by a double cut too. I could have done that too, but I will need to end exactly by the same sign. If I start with a simple cut, I end with a simple cut. It's a, if I start with a double cut, uh, excuse me, I end with a double cut. Okay? And we will see after how we add the string. But in case, up, we have the sum, and you see how I advise you really to have the two, the browser in on one side at right, for example, and your code at left. Then we equal the first here and we echo the second here and it's only sum equal variable 1 
plus variable 2. 10 plus 30, 40, 40 is good. We, we have the result. After, just create a new, a new file name string. To create a new file, it's quite simple. You, you go to new and you do a save as. Be sure that you have always in the good directory. It's been here in video lessons. Here in the video lessons, and we continue to be in video lessons. Now um, we will attack the string. Second type of variable, string one equal I like. String two equal I don't. Uh, excuse me. I don't like. Okay. If you try to do string three equal string one plus string two, and you go, you do echo string three, you will have zero, because in fact um, plus it's only for numerical value. And when you use plus with string, uh, the PHP interpreter do what we name a casting. It means that it cast this string into integer and it's zero. Same thing for string two. Then the sum using a plus will give zero. Then if you want to add string, you do another way. You do string one dot string two and you will have then where I you were more or less expecting I don't like I like I don't like I have always the zeros and I will comment I like I don't like and if I want to have a space between uh, the two string, I, I can add a new blank screen with a space and I will have exactly that. If I want to jump a line, I put the HTML tag to jump the line. Then uh, we have seen how to use numerical variable, how to use string variable. In the next uh, video, uh, we will see how uh, we will compute uh, from a Kelvin temperature, how we will compute Fahrenheit, and we will use our variable to begin to do something quite useful, uh, to begin to build uh, weather applications. But for the moment, just look uh, the syntax, syntax you have, the difference between numerical, add numerical, here, and add string here. Okay. Uh, and uh, we can go now in the next in the next little lesson about function.